Hello everyone, this is Mike. Welcome to my channel, Mike the Tech Savvy. This is a video that, well, has been waiting for a while. In front of me, I have the venerable Samsung Galaxy S4. This is, of course, the international version of this device. And it may not seem from the first look, but rest assured, we do have Android 10. And not only Android 10, but we have a very stable version of Android 10 and with the latest security patch level. Let's deep dive a bit into this ROM, see what it's capable of, see how and if can turn this, well, pretty old device now into a daily driver material in 2020 and also a short installation guide if you want to try it. Let's get started. We have the standard launcher that you may recognize as Trebuchet, so basically we have Lineage OS. Let's go a bit into the installation part and afterwards we can see exactly what this ROM is made out of. In order to see the installation part, we will go into recovery. I am assuming straight off the bat that you have TWRP installed. On top of that, you can flash through TWRP a custom recovery that allows you to install this, well, magnificent ROM. I cannot describe it otherwise. There you go. It should launch momentarily. Yes, and here we have the TWRP by JDC Team Build 2. Of course, when you install it, you can just go into install image, select the TWRP file, Select recovery and swipe to confirm flash. Afterwards restart and you should be into this custom recovery. After you're done, you should make a full wipe. Dalvik, cache, data and system. Swipe to wipe and then you're ready to flash the ROM itself. I usually go with the Pico package for OpenG apps. So first step, flash the optimized Lineage OS 17.1. The current version is v7 which has the august security patch level after that's done you can flash the opengl apps and then reboot the device into system after the first reboot you can restart the device into recovery once again and flash magisk as well it works just fine without any issues and basically you're done let me now just reboot into system so i can show you the rom itself and the rom will boot up just like here we do have this very nice wallpaper and here you can really see that the display of this device isn't that bad after all, even after so many years. Let me just zoom in a bit. You can see how crisp it is. The full resolution OLED really does its job pretty good. I won't go into all the details because it's not really important, but I will tell you the basics. So this ROM was developed by JDC team. They've been doing optimized Lineage OS builds for forever now, for this specific Samsung Galaxy S4. And it's definitely one of the best Lineage OS ROMs for this device. It is based on the official Lineage OS 17.1. It has the latest security updates, in our case, August. You have very good response in basically everything, good stability. Decent RAM usage, given that this device only has 2GB of RAM and you also have pretty good use of internal storage. We have 16GB of internal memory and we have only 7 used by this ROM. It's, it's pretty good, you have about 9GB of free memory. The battery drain is pretty much solved as well. You will get a decent battery life in my case, well, not really because the battery is shot of this device but if you have a good condition battery it should last you without any issues a full day most of the stuff that i've told you it's only possible because of the buff core kernel which has a lot of stats improves a lot of things is definitely the best choice for this device let me just quickly take you through it so you get everything that you have in a normal android 10 Lineage OS, I won't really go into much detail because you pretty much know what you have. Of course, including dark theme, everything works. So NFC, hotspot, you have caffeine, which is really nice. Well, this is basically something that all Lineage OS ROMs have. Ambient display, auto-rotate, everything, everything works. 
with the Pico G apps, you only have what you see here. So basically it's a very small installation. You only have the Play Store and not much. But of course you can go into the Play Store and install whatever apps you want. This is only possible because you have Android 10. Otherwise you would definitely be limited to a certain number of apps which are compatible with the ROM version. As recent apps button, you have this one. Initially it was designed for something else by Samsung. You can see it for yourselves. It's very fast, very responsive. Let's go a little bit into the camera so we can take a look. As you can see, we have this very nice addition with the blue LED which lights up when the camera is opened. You can access everything from here. You can film in Full HD, you can scan QR codes, you can take pictures in 12.8 megapixels in the 4x3 aspect ratio. The ROM by itself is pretty stable. It's definitely one of the best choices if you are still using the S4 as a daily driver. If I were still to use this phone, I would definitely go with this Lineage OS ROM. It works pretty good given that this device is, well, pretty old now. I guess it's about 6-7 years old. Take into consideration that you still have the latest Android version. Well, almost latest because Android 11 is around the corner. It's already launched for the Pixel devices or rather for some Pixel devices. Because some of them, such as this Pixel 1 device, they're already past 2 and they only receive... Well, they don't really receive anything anymore. This one has received the latest security update, I guess, last year. Yes, so the latest security update was in 2019. Let's check the optimized Lineage OS build as well. Android security patch level August 2020 which is pretty impressive and I cannot really underline this enough. That's about it, given that this ROM is so stable, I cannot really say much about it. It's basically your typical Android 10 ROM, which works really well. If you're familiar with Lineage OS, you know exactly where to start off. In this video, I assumed that you already have TWRP installed. If you don't, it's really simple. If you've been using this device for so long, I'm sure that you already have it. And as an answer to my initial question, definitely this ROM is the best choice if you are still using the Samsung Galaxy S4 as your daily driver in 2020. You have Android 10, you have the latest security patch level, you receive bug fixes every month whenever the security patch level is updated, you cannot really ask for more. I'd like to extend my thanks to the JDC team, which have a dedicated topic on the XDA forum. I will link it in the video description below. Thanks so much, guys. You've done an amazing job. If you would have asked me a few years ago if this device would still be relevant today, I would have definitely said no, but it seems like some guys are stubborn and, well, it seems like some people really love this device even after all these years. This was the video for today. Thank you so much for watching it. If you liked it, please do press the thumbs up button. If you'd like to see more similar videos in the future, also press the subscribe button, which will be displayed right here in the bottom left part. If you have any questions, specific ones or suggestions, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. In the video description, you also have the link to my Patreon account. Thank you so much once again. I wish you a great day, stay safe, bye!